Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am Katie Schaefer. If you guys are new here, I will link my Instagram below and subscribe if you haven't already. I think I said subscribe. Okay, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, today I wanted to talk about, I have it written down as an empowerment video and I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to title it just yet. Um, but I just kind of wanted to talk about the things that you believe about yourself, um, that allow you to live a certain kind of life. Um, and it kind of dictates how you view life as to whether it's positive or negative. And... I'm not gonna get into manifestation necessarily just because I think that's a whole different video. Um, but I had posted a caption the other day on an Instagram photo and I'm gonna read it to you guys if you haven't read it. Um, just because this kind of is exactly what I wanna talk about. Um, this is what I wrote. Going to toot my own horn here for a second because I have a point that I'm very passionate about. In the last few years, I've built a life I love developed healthy routines, found a job I love, combated my depression and anxiety, and met a man that loves me for exactly who I am. Do I have flaws? Hell yeah, but does that mean I don't deserve the best? I built this life because I believe in myself. I was relentless and I've always believed you should never settle for less than you deserve and I'm not done yet. You should strive for the best for your life and I hope this gives you the courage to go out there and get what you want in life and what you deserve. So, I don't know, like, it's hard to describe when, I don't want to say when I started believing this, because I do feel like um, the way my parents raised me was, like, there was never a question that I could, couldn't do something. You know, if I wanted to do something, I could do it if I put my mind to it. Um, I actually wanted to be an engineer for a long time. Uh... I always loved cars. I still love cars, um, but I always wanted to work in the car industry. Um, my life is totally different now, but that was the path that I wanted to go down. So I went to NC State. Um, I was in, in industrial engineering for two years. I was miserable. I, yeah, like once again, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I was always really smart. I didn't, I don't want to say I didn't have to try that hard, but like, I just was smart, like studying came naturally to me, math, I was always good at it um, until I went to college and I don't know if it was just like a lot, I, I do think there was just a lot going on and I really wanted to have a social life and I wanted to go out all the time, but I also wanted to make straight A's and like do well in engineering and you can't, you can't have it all like when you're in college like that. You, some people can, don't get me wrong, but that wasn't how it was going to work for me um so i changed my major twice ended up graduating still in four years which is crazy but i was determined to get it done in four years and i did it um but during the time of me changing my major so much i i don't i think i always knew i had like some sort of anxiety i think it was more like generalized anxiety just about like anything like I would get anxious about like going to the grocery store like just like really random things but it didn't like take over my life per se um but then I started having panic attacks and anxiety attacks because I was so used to doing well in school and I was like bombing some of my classes um and I just panicked and I didn't know what to do I was so unhappy I didn't like like, I just didn't like the stuff that I was learning as much as I thought I was going to. Um, I enjoyed, like, my math classes and stuff like that. But long story short, engineering just wasn't for me. It just didn't work out that way. But I was determined to get it done in four years, and I did that. Um, but I think it comes down to the fact that I was like, I'm going to get this done. But it goes back to the fact that I said, I don't think I really finished my thought on that. But my parents always, like... They have two girls, me and my sister. Um, there was never a question as to whether I could be an engineer. Like, I hate to bring the female card up, but whatever I wanted to do in life, my parents were like, you can do it. You just need to work hard for it. Um, but I think that kind of, like, 
stuck with me so even though I didn't finish in engineering I got it done in four years like I said um but that didn't work out so I ended up I've had four jobs now and I wouldn't say it, it was they were all really good learning experiences but that being said um I started all of them being very hopeful and you know excited about them but there came a point in each one of those previous jobs that I've had um so I'm on my fourth job now so in each of those three jobs I I think I just got like I'm gonna say really discouraged but I really didn't end up liking what I was doing um because I really just was kind of lost in what I wanted to do with my life that's how I ended up finding fitness um I grew up as an athlete I ran track I did gymnastics I played soccer all of that good stuff um, and then when I went to college, I, it just kind of fell off. Um, I didn't start working out again until I just was kind of like bored outside of work and I wasn't really happy with my job. So I kind of threw myself into fitness um, over the last, since I graduated. So yeah, over the last four years, um, it'll be five in May, which is crazy. Um, but my point here is I believe throughout all of this jobs college whatever I have always believed that you can do anything that you put your mind to like I said that my parents had instilled in my sister and I but also the fact that I believe that whatever you want out of life you can get it if you really want a specific job you can do everything in your power to get it some people just or like oh I'll never be able to have that job like I don't have this skill or blah 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 and they just give up but I just genuinely have always believed that you create your life no one is going to come and save you no one you have the power to do whatever you want in life if you want a nice car a nice house whatever it doesn't even need to be material things but like if you want to live a certain lifestyle or if you just want to be super in shape, like no matter what is important to you, if you make it a priority, you can make it happen. And I just like have always believed that. And don't get me wrong, like there have been times, like I said, I have combated anxiety and depression. So I wouldn't say I was depressed in call. And yeah, I think there was a time where I was just so hard on myself about not doing well in my classes that I just like didn't want to get out of bed because doing well in school like when you're in college like you're in school to learn you're in school to do well and I was just so hard on myself that I was like I'm not doing good at the one thing that I'm here to do so I think I like panicked um but I got over that hump um I have struggled on and off with depression um after graduation I finally have it under control I am on medication I always told myself I was not going to be on medication but it works and I won't be on it forever but that's a whole other story um it, it's just it's so much about your mindset and just always believing that sure there'll be obstacles but no matter what you want in life if you are really determined to get it you can get it um yeah, like I said, like I found a job I loved. I I can't even say enough good things about my boyfriend. I always believed that I would be with someone who treated me amazingly and was always there for me. And I found that. I just, I cannot say enough how much it matters what you believe about yourself. And like, it goes back to tooting your own horn kind of thing. I don't want to, like, I really write down every day and i just talked about this on instagram i have a gratitude slash manifestation journal i really genuinely believe that if you are grateful for the things that you have in life you will continue getting good things that's a whole manifestation conversation but if you believe that you can attain anything in life and you are willing to work for it you can get it and i don't want to say it's like a magical thing that you can get it but I genuinely believe that if you are willing to do the work you can get whatever you want in life you can get a banging bod you can have the career you want you can have a nice house you can work hard you can have a nice car like 
I just believe that what you put into things you will get out of and if you but if you don't genuinely believe inside your heart that you're you can attain these things like you won't get it like you can work hard but if you don't believe deep in your heart that something is going to work and that you are going to attain it 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 won't it won't work out you have to genuinely believe genuinely believe that you can do whatever you put your mind to like there were so many times where i was so anxious about so many things and i just wanted to give up but you have to it always comes down to the fact that no one's going to come and save you like you have to do this for yourself you have to work for what you want no matter what like sure there are people that will help you but no one is going to look out for you the way that you are going to look out for yourself and the more I think about it, this video kind of is manifestation because it really, manifestation is believing that whatever you put out into the universe and whatever you believe in will come back to you and you will achieve it. So I guess it is manifestation also. So yes, I have a journal that I write in. It has actually finally become a habit every day. I write at least one thing I'm grateful for, um, which usually turns into like two or three. Um, and then I write like what I'm manifesting, like what I want in life, what I'm working on, that I will achieve it. And the whole thing that I have found to be the most helpful is to write things as if you already have them. So like this is a terrible example, but I have a million dollars. Before I got this job, I would literally write down, I have a job that I love and a great boss and I do I have that now and I like it's so weird to think about but you write these things down and you truly genuinely believe them and it works like I promise you it works you just have to believe in it and if you want to write it down seven eight ten people literally in manifestation journals will write down like it on an entire page I don't personally do that but I could write like something that I'm real that I really want like I might write down five times a week but yeah, manifestation journal, really love. So glad I've gotten in that habit this year. That's my little empowerment spiel. Um, I didn't mean to give as much of a backstory as I did, but I just think it's good to understand like my college slash job experience because it's been very up and down and I'm just, I'm so happy right now. Like I'm so happy with my job um, as a marketing advisor, I love it. I love who I work with. Um, Wes, like I said, I, I can't say enough good things about him. I love him so much. Um, and yeah, like I, I love my workouts. I love what I do. I love our apartment. I love where we live. And I don't wanna say like everything's perfect in my life. There are days that I truly struggle. There are days that I don't wanna go to the gym. There are days that I don't wanna go to work. You know, like we all have our ups and downs, but at the end of the day, you can do anything. Whatever you put your mind to, you are capable of. So yeah, that's my little spiel. Um, like I said, I'll link my Instagram below so you guys can follow me. Um, subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and happy Vlogmas.